For our midterm presentation, NCS Inc. would like to present The Misunderstandings of a Manager. In our TV show, the plot is Joan has just been hired to replace someone who did not meet the required deadlines and was fired. Joan doesn't want the same to happen to her, but she has never had to manage a department before. Her initial approach to management gets her into a bind and she fails to achieve her goal. She has to figure out what she is doing wrong and fix it before it is too late and she too loses her job. Our theory behind the show, new managers face a lot of trial and error in creating the best management style for their situation. Sometimes it is best to take a step back and evaluate and then reevaluate. One should not assume that a single management style is the right way to go for all situations. Our target audience are young professionals in their 20s and 30s. We have chosen fun, interesting, and relatable characters to appeal to our audience. The show's format, each episode will highlight on a particular concept that we have learned about or will be learning about from the textbook. The story is to be portrayed in a dramatic dramatic soap opera style format to draw our audience in as well as educate them on how they could be a better manager. Let's take a look at the stars of our show. Joan is the new manager of the firm's accounts payable department. She is new to managing and is inexperienced. She's insecure and hesitant in her own skills, so she models her management style off of how she perceives a manager should act, as well as some past managers she has worked under. This makes her extremely bossy and controlling. She appears to be self-centered and unconcerned for her employees, and this causes them to dislike her. Her management style starts out as informational monitor. This role is about seeking information that may affect her own work. Lauren is upper management at the firm and oversees all the department managers. She handles herself in a confident and professional manner. She's a tough, no-nonsense manager who is great at communicating what is needed from the employees and tells it how it is, but always allows second chances to those who are deserving. She is intelligent, efficient, and is a great leader. Joan reports to her. Lauren's management style is interpersonal leader. This role is about formal authority and influence over other associates within the organization. Krista and Nicole are mid-level employees at the firm. They have some college education but never graduated. Both are in their mid-twenties and are new to the workforce. They are fun and outgoing, but both are easily overwhelmed and tend to get discouraged if they do not get the necessary feedback from their managers. They need reassurance in their work and constructive criticism to help them complete their tasks and keep them interested. They both report to Joan. Bill is a manager in a different department of the firm. His department is very productive and the morale within the group is high. He is an excellent listener and very down to earth. He has received the employee of the year and manager of the month a couple of times in his career. Bill's management style is a leader, disseminator, and resource allocator. These roles show just how great of a manager Bill is. He uses his authority within his department for the good by informing his team of any company plans that would affect his department as well as being flexible and rearranging duties within his department when change is needed. The following episodes will be drafted to illustrate the fast-paced, exciting life of a manager and how such roles can be misunderstood. Here is a summary by episode on what will happen and what concepts the episode touches on. In episode 1, Joan recently moved from out of state and is extremely nervous about starting her new job. It's Joan's first day on the job as a manager of the accounts payable department. She, founds out, she finds out through the grapevine that she is replacing a much laid-back manager who never really enforced the rules and played friend to her employees instead of their manager. Due to her managing strategy, the lady lacked in planning and was unable to meet the organizational objectives and was fired. After hearing this, Joan meets with Lauren. In episode 2, Lauren explains the demands of Joan's job and stresses the importance of being on time. After the meeting, she goes into her office and Joan admits to herself that she has never been a manager before and she is not sure what she needs to do to meet all of the demands that Lauren has given her. Feeling under pressure, Joan recalls her previous job and the management style of the manager she previously worked for. Joan is a very logical person, so she performs the eight-step process for decision-making. Joan decides that she is going to oversee all things her department does. In other words, she becomes an overly controlling micromanager.
In episode 3, Joan meets with her department and discusses how things are going to be. She talks mostly about herself and what she wants, and doesn't seem interested at all in her employees. As a result of her tone and demeanor, Krista and Nicole seem to be put off by their new manager. After the meeting, Krista and Nicole approach Joan to invite her out for drinks, seeing as how they used to go out with their old manager all the time. Joan rudely declines and adds they better not be late for work tomorrow after their night of drinks. In a time lapse of two to three weeks, we will show different events that take place illustrating how Joan is a bad manager. In episode four, Krista and Nicole talk amongst themselves about how controlling Joan is and it makes them not want to go to work at all, let alone work as hard as they know they need to because Joan never recognizes it. They know their deadline is coming up, but they are over the stress. Krista takes an extra long lunch, and Nicole sits and talks on the phone to her boyfriend for most of the day. The leader-member exchange theory will tie in here because Joan refuses to build any kind of relationship with her employees other than being strictly professional. Whether Joan realizes it or not, this will hinder the work of her subordinates. In Episode 5, Joan can't figure out how to motivate her staff. A big deadline has passed and Joan's department failed in reaching their goal. Joan is called into Lauren's office and hears all about her department's failure and what that means for the company. Lauren is very disappointed. She tells Joan that if improvement isn't made by the end of her 90-day probation period, she will be let go. Joan fails to realize that her micromanaging is the reason for her employees' lack of motivation. Joan is constantly punishing them for their insufficient work, but never giving positive reinforcement or acknowledgement for their better performance. Joan and her subordinates all miss a crucial deadline, and the fault is entirely on Joan. In episode 6, after the meeting with Lauren, Joan is upset and frustrated. She tries to reach out to her employees, but Krista and Nicole do not feel like they can talk to her. At a loss, Joan gets a cup of coffee with Bill, and they talk about Joan's issues. Bill suggests that Joan reevaluate what kind of manager she wants to be and what she is wanting from her employees. Bill suggests that she perform a SWOT analysis on her employees to assist her in finding their strengths and weaknesses. He tells her to focus on the managerial functions like organization rather than just controlling. It is suggested she start playing an interpersonal role. With no other options, Joan takes Bill's advice and begins to come up with a plan. In episode 7, after coming up with a plan, Joan realized that she had only performed the first seven steps in her decision-making process and did not consider the final step of evaluation. Now she has evaluated her decision's effectiveness and has begun to implement her new interpersonal skills. Joan sees that she has made the department's goals her goals, so she decides to meet with Chris and Nicole to discuss what they want to see happen. She finds out that her management type is hurting the group. She takes a new approach with this meeting. In the end, the group's outlook has changed and the department walks out of the meeting as a team. In an attempt to complete the semester project, we have completed the following steps. A summary of the storyline and dividing the story into appropriate episodes. Character profiles that include description of appearance characteristics as well as management styles. The following are steps that we still need to complete, which will be done according to our original team charter. The required booklet, scripts for each episode, props and scenes for each episode, and finally to tape each episode with finished props and scripts to create a professional TV show that will be both entertaining and informative for our target audience. We thank you for your attention to our presentation. We look forward to showing you our final product.